Hello, and welcome to CivilNet. By the end of this year, Armenia is expected to launch a revolutionary supercomputer as part of the $500 million Firebird program. In preparation, we've been taking a look into the areas of Armenia's tech sector that have been growing the field. Today, our guest is Sarkis Karapetyan, CEO of the Union of Advanced Technology Enterprises, or UATE, which unites over 200 Armenian companies in moving the sector forward. Thank you for joining us, Sarkis. Thanks for the invitation, Paul. Well, of course. So UAT, besides being a, a large uh, organization of many companies, has a few major initiatives that it does in Armenia every year. Um, so one of those is Armath, which I've heard you call kind of the NVIDIA of Armenian tech education. So can you explain what that is? I'm glad it sticks. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Armath is an um, extracurricular STEM education program. Uh, if we look uh, from the education perspective. If we are looking from the engineering perspective uh, and spreading the engineering culture throughout the country, uh, I, I, I love to call it a hacker space or maker space. Uh, it's open to anybody in the community. So we have uh, 650 uh, maker spaces across Armenia. Basically, uh, this, this is every other school of Armenia where we establish uh, a room with uh, 3D printer, CNC machine, laser machine, computers, uh, robotic kits, and um, uh, kids do projects there trying to solve the problems of their community starting from 10 year old. Um, and um, the goal here is to have the kids uh, focus on the problems of their community and by doing a project parallelly get education, STEM education, as well as uh, uh, strengthen their uh, uh, knowledge and performance within the school. So it's an uh, extracurricular program after school, but we, we, by doing projects they also um, um, got to understand how important is the math, physics, chemistry, biology, and all the STEM directions. Um, and why we call it um, the NVIDIA of Armenian STEP education is that there are so many um, wonderful STEM education programs in Armenia. Um, Tumo, FAST is doing Generation AI, GOAF is doing pro educational projects and uh, others as well. Um, so uh, the main thing is that uh, we, uh, we have 650 makerspaces and most of them, 600 of them, are outside of Yerevan, in the regions, in the villages. So if any uh, program that performs well in Yerevan is trying to go to regions, here is where Armat is the NVIDIA, like NVIDIA is providing the supercomputers for AI, whoever doing AI uh, is using NVIDIA's uh, supercomputers. So when um, any program wants to launch in the regions, um, uh, they, are, uh, they hire the coaches of Armad, they hire the kids of our, that went to Armad, and also uh, Armad is from 10 year old. So those programs usually start from 12 year old, 15 year old, and so on. And uh, the kids go there with already a preset of skills and knowledge and their performance goes up. So this is laying the groundwork in villages throughout Armenia. You're saying they have access to 3D printers out in some of these very rural areas? And Absolutely. I'm coming from one of those rural areas. I'm from Artsakh, uh, from a village called uh, Khansk, which is Askeran region. And uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm the lucky one that my dad is a hardware engineer and I had Armad at, at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm happy to be part of this program that is giving access to everybody. I, I, I was thinking that uh, it's a rare case that whatever my dad did for me and it's impossible to scale, but uh, apparently uh, there were some uh, smart people uh, and dedicated people who put a lot of effort and ideas on how to scale that throughout Armenia, uh, especially uh, Karen Bartanian, late Karen Bartanian, 
uh, in back 2012-2014 uh, and some of the board members of UATE um, um, instigate uh, the fam uh, com uh, fa com company, uh, family of companies. Uh, VMware uh, were uh, uh, great contributors to that together with Galen. Uh, so they, they figured out, they hacked the way how to scale with minimum uh, budget. So Armat is the, from the economic perspective, I would say Armat is the most successful public-private partnership in Armenia and uh, maybe in the world. We need to check that because uh, the model is that we raise the uh, capital expenses from private, from diaspora, individuals, donor, different donors. We give the uh, equipment to the school. So UAT owns zero equipment. And the school takes care of utility bills. And the government, uh, the Ministry of uh, Higher Education, pays the salary of the coach. But we are uh, also covering the maintenance and uh, management fees. So it's like very broader public-private pri partnership. In this partnership, we invested uh, around $28 million in 10 years. And we gave access to high-quality STEM education to 130,000 kids in Armenia. Though we have 17,000 active uh, kids, but uh, 130,000 have access and they come and go, they try, that's the goal. So very early they have a chance to get to know what is engineering, what is STEM, and decide if they want to continue with this all or not. That's it. If they never had the experience, they would never know. And, and some that were like you that were had that potential. But if there was no way to to channel it, so that, that's what's vital. And what have you been seeing results wise of people that, that went through our mouth also like in the villages themselves? You talk about they, they, they fix problems there. Any examples Absolutely. of that? So there are, there are two uh, results that we are proud of. Uh, one is that uh, we already have 9,000 kids who came to Armat actively. There is no such thing, thing that you graduate Armat, so it's a hackerspace. You do projects there all your life, if, if you will. Uh, but we have kids, uh, 9,000 uh, 9, kids who graduated the school and, uh, we, and came Armat actively, and 50% uh, of uh, them 51% uh, actually continue with STEM directions and uh, most of the top companies, in the, our members, most of the top companies employ Armat uh, uh, alumni, if we put it that way. Uh, another uh, thing that we are very proud of is that um, every year we do uh, competitions, uh, coding competition, uh, robotics competition, uh, and again, we do it all in partnership with the government, uh, the education ministry and high tech ministry. This year we had uh, uh, 1600 uh, participants in the coding competition. Uh, and we are expecting around 500 kids participate in robotic competition, which is in November. But uh, the most uh, interesting part is that uh, the winners of these competitions we see uh, programs like uh, some uh, uh, t uh, one of the winners actually automated all the process of uh, mushroom uh, growing. Mm -hmm. They uh, actually bring the uh, device, but also they showed us how it performs in the, in the real field, in their village. And later on, the coach with the kids, they started creating more of this and selling to other mushroom growers. It's like you go there, you uh, plant the seeds and uh, come out of the room and you are able to control everything from your phone. And uh, it, it tells you when, when is the time to go harvest. So that's one, one very small example. They are like, they automate the school, uh, like the ring bell of the school, they automate uh, doors, they automate, like they do all, all, all um, sorts of things, uh, build robots and so on, and it's, it's gonna grow. So uh, if you do something in education, you need at least 10 years to see the results. Armat is 10 year old now, 
and uh, we, we just uh, star started seeing the results of our month. So another one of UAT's major projects is Digitech, which I know has been going on for years. I remember I've been to it a few times, going back a decade. Uh, so tell us about that and how that is also uh, growing the field. Yeah. Um, Digitech is uh, the new year of Armenian tech ecosystem. And uh, it was a dream back 20 years ago. This year we marked the 20th anniversary of Digitech. Uh, again, Karen Vartanian started it in, back in 2005 uh, with a dream to make it international event and uh, make it a new year, a celebration for whole tech uh, Armenian ecosystem. I would say this year uh, we are reaching that vision. Uh, and um, so Armenian tech ecosystem uh, is like, uh, like British Empire one, once was. Uh, it, it, its rule uh, was stretching ev across every time zone. Armenian is a tech ecosystem is exactly like that and we say uh, the only force where the sun never sets. Um, so wherever you go there, there are tech Armenians. We it's call Armenian them tech, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, tech Armenians. Tech Armenians. Tech Armenians. Tech Armenians, yeah. And uh, this year Digitech is uh, uniting all of them. We are having people all the way from Japan, from Tokyo to San Francisco, Boston, Sydney, Paris, uh, London. Uh, and uh, those Armenians are coming with their non-Armenian friends. And uh, this year uh, we, we go further. Uh, Digitech uh, used to be a local uh, expo. Uh, we invited, uh, we bring our, to Armenia WCIT twice, one in 2019, one in uh, last year. And uh, we used it, leveraged it effectively to, to build our own brand. If uh, I think you have been last year the uh, WCIT or the previous. Well, I was actually got to yeah. help organize the very first one, uh, which was yeah. an amazing uh, experience. And we had Alexis Ohanian, major guy on yeah. Reddit. We of course had Kim Kardashian there. I mean, it was it was a really it's an amazing time. Yeah, the most important part of that is that we do it. We did it parallel with Digitech. Last year we even went farther. We branded it uh, with Digitech. It was WCIT. 2024 Digitech. And now Digitech is a recognized brand. We had 15 international media last year visit Armenia, like Forbes, Independent, TechCrunch, you name it. And now uh, if you search Digitech, it brings together with WCIT. So this year Digitech is already an international brand and we are uniting uh, all Armenia. So it's the core of it is Armenian network, but the positioning is that uh, you don't have to come to Armenia, you don't have to know where is Armenia, but uh, do business with Armenians. But if you want to do go for, farther, if you do business with one Armenian in tech, you get access to all of them and their networks. Uh, but if you want to learn more and have fun, come to our new year, it's, di it's called Digitech. So, um, and and uh, uh, being there is not optional. So it's gradually becoming that New Year. So no one skips New Year, right? I think that everyone so, must attend, yeah. basically. So, the... so that's the culture we are bringing in. Uh, and uh, I think uh, year by year, we are getting more successful in accomplishing that goal. And this year, you will see that we are almost there. And uh, it combines three events together. It's the exposition, traditional one. It's the conference uh, with a big hall and five other halls. So we'll have six halls conferences going on and a festival. Uh, the idea is that we invite people in the expo to see what um, tech Armenians are building, what, are, what companies they build, what products they build, what the multinationals like Adobe, Nvidia, Siemens, uh, Broadcom, what they do in Armenia. Uh, how they operate in Armenia. The conference is that you listen to these people like what they think, what is their vision, what are the problems, what, are, what is the agenda. And the festival is like you spent three days at least in Yerevan, you got to see what it's like to live in Yerevan. 
like uh, what do uh, these people do with these tech people doing Yerevan? Like what they drink, what wine they choose, what coffee they choose, uh, what they wear, what dances they dance, what music they listen to. And uh, we are now in negotiations with the uh, municipality of Yerevan. Actually, the weekend of Digitech uh, is uh, Erebuni Yerevan, the birthday of Yerevan as well. So it's uh, October 10 to 12th. So 11th and 12th, we are uh, colliding with uh, uh, Erebuni Yerevan and we are trying uh, to uh, coordinate activities. So whole, the whole city will be techified. So it's uh, um, yeah. So and and there there is also meaning in this because today uh, and, uh, the governments uh, not only governments are competing but also cities are competing within same country. Cities are competing. Uh, if you look at the uh, tech ecosystems, they uh, compete with the cities, not with the countries. So this way, uh, we are trying to showcase that Yerevan is the uh, most accomplished and uh, successful uh, hubs uh, in, uh, in terms of tech ecosystem, a mature tech ecosystem, vibrant tech ecosystem in the broader region, considering the post-Soviet uh, and MENA countries. Yeah, well, for one thing, it's a great idea with Yerevan's birthday because that celebration is always an amazing one and it really showcases Yerevan as a great place to live. So are you saying this is bringing people from the outside too to get, get an idea of what is this place? You know, I, I, Armenia is not always on people's radar, but once they get here, I, this is not me saying it out of a biased Armenian. So many non-Armenians come here and they're like, I didn't know about this place, but now that I'm here, I absolutely love it. And like the lifestyle here, it's just amazing for them. So I guess this is part of what, what, what you're doing. It's, you know, helping convince people, hey, bring your companies here. I mean, this, this is the place to be. Absolutely. So let's say somebody's watching right now. They might be Armenian, they might not be Armenian, they're in the tech sphere. They, they want to get involved. They want to hire an Armenian. You know, what do you suggest they do? Uh, the first thing I suggest, they go to uh, digitech2025.com and register uh, and, and come to Yerevan October 10 to 12. Uh, we, we don't promise anything uh, except fun, but our internal goal is to wow them with business results. Well, Yerevan is always a fun time, so take that little leap of faith and, and come here and, and work with UATE. So thank you so much, Sarkis, for coming. I really appreciate you giving this insight to what's happening all over Armenia. Thanks for the invitation. And thank you for joining CivilNet.